A rum, a really interesting rum. Hello and welcome to My Tiny Bottles, the project where I'm exploring my grandmother's legacy of miniature liquor bottles, one tiny bottle at a time. I'm your host, Tammy Coxon, and today we're going to have another reveal video. So if you've been watching recent episodes, you will have noticed that my background changed, and this is the first reveal episode I'm doing on my new set, which is my new house. And so the bottles all had to get moved across the country. I lost the old box of fun, but we have a new box of fun that's filled with a few bottles for me to pick out from my grandmother's collection of roughly 200 bottles. Now this episode is an exciting reveal episode because we are going to reach bottle number 100. But before we get there, we have to pull bottle number 99. So, drum roll please. Bottle number 99 is... A rum! A really interesting rum! Okay, this makes me so happy. I have been so frustrated because I really like rum. Most of my bottles in my collection are rum. I know all sorts of fascinating rum people to taste rum with, and I have not had a rum to taste with them. This is a Martinique rum, not just any rum, but an aged rum from the Martinique, which might make kind of some sense because of uh, Canada and the French connection, because uh, Martinique is a French colony uh, and uh, they make uh, agricole rums, which come from sugarcane juice. This is rum Lamani, and it is aged for seven years. And uh, this is, you know, uh, this whole reveal episode is awesome already because of this bottle. All right. I feel like anything that comes out as bottle number 100 is going to be a little bit of a letdown, but let's find out. All right, bottle 100 is a rerun, Opal Nera Sambuca, which I have already tasted, but this provides me an excellent opportunity to not be able to show you my bottle of Opal Nera Sambuca that uh, Alexandro Francoli sent me so that I could taste the new stuff with the old stuff. And I've stashed it away somewhere, and I don't know where. Oh wait, I found it! New Opal Nera, old Opal Nera, coming soon to a YouTube near you. But that's going to be a really interesting second chance to do a side-by-side -side tasting with uh, the old Opal Nera and the new Opal Nera, which is being re-released. Uh, super cool, stay tuned for that. That'll probably be some kind of a special episode. All right, I'm not gonna count that as bottle number 100 because we've already done it and I'm not numbering duplicates. That's my, that's my strategy. Okay, drum roll please. Bottle number 100 is... Another rum! Also another rum I am super excited about. Uh, this is Mount Gay Rum. Barbados Sugar Cane Brandy, it says on the label. That's like a really old looking label. Some evaporation, but it is in glass. Um, well, we're just uh, getting ready for rum week sometime soon. All right, that was bottle number 100. So 99 and 100. Could you imagine if it's all rum from here on in? That'd be great. Okay, next bottle. All right, I can tell from touching this one that it is um, plastic and empty, but uh, we might as well work our way through those. So it is, well, it's not totally empty, but it's empty enough that it won't taste good. It is Weiser's Very Old uh, Canadian Whiskey. So 18 year old Weiser's. Um, when it was made in Belleville, not uh, Windsor as it is today. Uh, so definitely lots of good stories. I've been learning a lot about Canadian whiskey because there is a lot of it in grandma's collection. Uh, so this will be another piece of that Canadian whiskey story at least, uh, even if it might not be very representative of what 18 year old Weisers is supposed to taste like. All right, so this one doesn't count. That means we have three and now we will have two more. Next up, 
paper wrapped, also plastic. Huh. <laughs> well, it is another rum. It is Saint-Tropique, which is a tropical island rum and natural flavors. Well, thanks. At least it's on theme for rum week. Uh, also plastic. Also, you know, got a lot of uh, room to slosh around in there. Uh, so we'll find out about that one. I've already had a few uh, coconut rums. I guess there's been more rum than I'm uh, than I'm uh, sort of giving the collection credit for. They've just all been rums I haven't been that excited about. All right, one more. There are a few in here, so I'm going to grab for a glass one because, you know, two plastic is kind of my limit, I think. All right, Goldschlager. Excellent. Uh, I don't even know what this stuff is supposed to taste like. I just know that it has pretty little gold flakes in it. And I did actually get gifted recently another vintage bottle of a liqueur that has little gold flakes in it. Uh, so uh, that will probably make for an interesting side-by-side -side tasting when the time comes. Uh, all right, Goldschlager. All right, well, this seems very celebratory for the 100th bottle episode. Uh, at least we've got a little uh, gold. So that's really exciting for me. I don't know if it's really exciting for you. But if you're looking forward to seeing uh, what I can dig up about the stories behind these bottles, especially the rums, and the exciting people I'm going to try to get to taste these bottles with me, especially the rums, uh, then you should subscribe. And you should like and comment and share this episode with your friends. Uh, and you can uh, tell me anything you know about these bottles on social media, at My Tiny Bottles on Facebook and Instagram, and at Tammy LC on Blue Sky. And other than that, check out my Patreon and uh, cheers. I'm going to go start researching these rounds right now.